Hi, I'm Bob Ryan. This is Globe 10.0. With me today is Chad Finn. You know, when Danny Ainge made the big blockbuster trade with the Oklahoma City Thunder a week ago, one of the things he made clear to people, we're not done yet, okay? One of the reasons he gave away Semi Erden and Luke Harangati to Cleveland, the clear roster space, Chad. And the guy he had in mind is to guide it is now the newest member of the Boston Celtics, Troy Murphy. Are you excited? I'm relatively excited. I think if you look at the arrivals and the departures now, you have to feel pretty good about what Ainge has done. But there's definitely a fit for Murphy here. Big guy who can rebound, uh, defensive rebounder, and he can knock down jump shots. We can't exaggerate his rebounding prowess. He, at one time this, in his career, he actually led the league in percentage of defensive rebounds. Number one in the entire league. Five times he's placed in the top ten. He's a 6'11 guy, and he's not afraid to mix it up. And his other calling card is as 6'11 four-man is that he's an outside shooter. He's not a great defender. He's not going to be a great post defender. He's not the answer. He's not replacing Kendrick Perkins. He's, <laughs> he's, but he is a big body. We're talking about where's the big body to go against Orlando and particularly the Lakers, as if we are sure they would play either one. Uh, Troy Murphy helps that piece of the puzzle. Yeah, you look back to Game 7 against the Lakers last year and all the second chances that mm -hmm. they had. A, a guy like Perk last year obviously made a huge difference. Uh, Murphy is that guy who's going to keep them from getting offensive rebounds this now, year. Now, full disclosure, there's a reason why he's available. He has had an, a wipeout season. Uh, he was with the Nets. He was injured at the beginning of the year. His is his, his explanation. Injured at the beginning of the year. They had younger players they were going to look at. Derek Favors, for example. And, and he was never part of their planned. Avery Johnson just didn't want to use him. So there's rust to scrape off here. He hasn't been a really viable player for a year now. It's going to take, and we only have 24 games to go, but uh, that's why he's available. But his credentials, he's been a double-figure scorer nine times. He's averaged as many as 15. Uh, this is a serious NBA player. What is this rate to you among uh, the, the late-season hmm. forward pickups from forward Danny? Forward Behind P.J. Brown? Well, I mean, it, if he works out, to do what he does well, as well as P.J. Brown, Dave Brown worked out to do what he did well, this would be a coup. I'm not even asking him to be that good. Let's say he works out to be 85% of what P.J. Brown was. This is going to be a big help. If he can turn out to be 100% of what P.J. Brown was, then we're going to be hailing this as a really major acquisition.